Are you sleeping well? I can't fall asleep. I have a problem falling asleep. I'm staying asleep. I'm sober now, eight, going on nine years soon. I was an addict, and so the sleep issues started when I got sober. I'm here with Chaz Bono, who's decided to come on the doctors to get healthier, to lose weight, and join us now is Dr. Eva Queenar, who met with Chaz a week ago for a full assessment on his health. And Dr. Queenar, share with us what you found. Well, we, we base weight on height, on bone density, how, how if you're small boned, if you're bigger boned. And my feeling with Chaz is that he has to lose between 50 and 80 pounds. Were you able during your analysis to, to look at Chaz's blood glucose levels and, and his cholesterol? Absolutely. And, and where he stands and all that? So although Chaz came to me with a diagnosis of hypertension, um, despite medication, he was still hypertensive. So the medications were not powerful enough. His blood pressure was 140 over 100. Um, and Chaz, you're on medication for that? Yes. So Chaz is just one big risk factor waiting to get into a bad situation because he does have a high blood pressure. He's got high cholesterol and he's got some insulin resistance going on. So not yet a diabetic, but the analysis that we did showed that his risk of diabetes, where his sugar was at right now, was twice of say you or I. So you've got three things right there waiting for a stroke, for heart disease, for sudden death. Now does Chaz's transition where, you know, with testosterone supplements, which you take, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Does that affect his profile in terms of when you're looking at these numbers? As far as the diabetes, no. As far as cholesterol, it may. As far as blood pressure, absolutely. But Chaz's hormones are not perfectly balanced, so that's something we have to work on as well. Because when your hormones are out of balance, it's hard to be healthy, is that correct? Exactly. It's, it's no different than a woman transitioning through menopause or uh, a younger woman having PMS symptoms. I mean, hormones are very, very powerful and they control our body and our minds. And is it fair to say, and Chaz, you probably have thought about this, because you're on testosterone supplementation, the number on the scale is probably a little bit different for you because you've noticed your muscle mass has increased, right? Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and of course, we know muscle is denser than fat, so there has to be a little give and take there, correct? There is, but again, in our analysis, Chaz still does meet the criteria for you know, the word obesity. Mm -hmm. But yes, it does, testosterone helps convert fat into muscle. But that's where you're starting to throw out a range, which this could be a goal, but the goal could be a moving target, because in the end, all we care about is your health. But you said 50 to maybe 80 pounds, and that's yes. taking into consideration the fact that you probably have more muscle mass right. now than before. Mm -hmm. Does that number, or does that range, does that seem that doable seems to you? Uh, yeah, I mean, and definitely since seeing uh, Dr. Queenart, you know, it seems more doable. Well, Chaz, I think you would be amazed at how many people are probably watching right now relating to your story. And no matter what has happened in someone's life, there, there does tend to be a period of time where the weight starts coming on, mm -hmm. and then it's there. And then we don't remember who we were before we had all that weight. So this is gonna, you know this is gonna take an army, right? <laughs> but you're the leader of that army. Well, I, absolutely. I mean, I, I, again, that's one of the reasons that I'm doing it with you guys and that I'm happy for the opportunity is because it's, it, I'm getting a lot of support, and, I, and you know, that's important.